Hey Sneak Peek, we're here at Austin Film Festival to talk to the cast and crew of The Iron Orchard. So I know that you were the director, producer, and you also helped write this film. I was a co-writer. Yes. Co-writer, okay. So like how is it juggling all of those roles like in one film? Well, it's it's an interesting process from obviously start to finish, but when you can kind of conceive, you know, help conceive the story, granted, it's based on a book, so it was an adaptation of a novel, but once you're in on it that early, it's really nice as a director to be able to work directly with the screenwriter and then also kind of go in and tweak stuff as you're kind of in the moment uh, and and rewrite scenes in the moment and, you know, when you have to combine stuff last minute. That's the hardest part, you know, in making a movie is, is when you get the reality of your schedule and you have to, like, cut things or combine things, it's it's really helpful to be able to either rewrite or work with the script writer and kind of combine a, a bunch of different things at once. So, so I play Jim McNeely uh, in the film and I'm the lead actor. And you're the man. You? I'm the man. He's the man. Uh, I play uh, Dent Paxton, who we meet out in the oil fields when we're young, and I'm a clerk in the office, and he's out doing hard labor. And then as his empire grows and he strikes oil. I become his right-hand man, his consigliere, and as Jim grows darker and darker, and sometimes abusive to us, um, our relationship starts to suffer, and it has this beautiful, tragic, uh, it's just a beautiful, tragic story. Ort Cooley is a uh, very colloquial man who wears his heart on his sleeve, he, he, he says what he thinks, he's, he's really... Um, He's kind of the moral compass of the film. He's everybody's best friend. He's a bit of a ne'er-do-well. He, he gets into trouble and he gets out of trouble, but he's just a lovable guy that doesn't accomplish much in life. He, he doesn't want much in life, and uh, he's generally just happy enough. And, and so I, I really enjoyed playing kind of a, a guy that was just of the land, and, and, and we all have a friend like that, and we realize in that friend, um, that's what's good about life and, and we might have a lot of ambition we might have a fair share of failure but in the end it's a friend like that that uh, uh, what do they say in um, it's a wonderful life no man is a failure who has friends and my dad was a roughneck when I was a kid so I would often visit out in Midland and Odessa when I was like five to eight years old and I remember just being out there my my aunts work in the oil business and so I've been around it since I was a kid, but nothing could prepare me. You know, being a little kid out there is one thing. When I, I went out there like six weeks early and jumped on a rig and worked with those guys and got down and dirty, and that's hard work, especially in 110, 115 degree weather. Uh, I couldn't imagine a better place to shoot this movie. Oh, yeah. And you know, a lot of days we just left and we drove an hour out into the country and we were at these interesting, sometimes oil rigs, sometimes like a little, little town, a little, or a little tiny people. store that we yeah. turned into an old timey grocery store. Um, it's it's really rare that you get to shoot a movie based on a book in the actual places that they took place, and so it was like stepping back in time. We got to go to these actual locations that the book talked about and shoot there. So. Yeah, good point. If we would have done this, if we had not done this independently, they would have they would have made us shoot this thing in New Mexico, oh, yeah. like 100%. Yeah. And like New Mexico is beautiful, but it, it doesn't look the same, you know, so. It's not Texas. <laughs> so I'm really glad we got to do it in Texas. To me, the most important thing is, as a filmmaker, is to be able to capture a world that doesn't exist anymore, you know, in this case. and. I just hope people uh, are able to walk away from it and and see something that that is non-existent and you know a part of Texas that is steeped in our history and you know part of our our culture here and you know I think I think it it accomplishes that hopefully so. We're in the oil business now, shooting. 